Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-May-ish through mid-June since it's a little bit later in May. It's going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate for you, definitely check out your other placements. So we're going to get into your current energy, then what Spirit wants you to know, and the next three to six months we'll just take a peek. And once we do that, we're going to clear the cards and check out the energy of the person on your mind. So I hope you'll stick with me. If you're returning, welcome back. If you are new, I hope you'll stick around. So let's see what's going on for you. So we have the Lovers in Reverse, the Ten of Swords, ooh, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands in Reverse, and the Devil in Reverse. <clears throat> so it's moving into a good place. The overall energy, we have the Nine of Wands, in reverse. This is good. It, it feels like there's a block in communication. If this is a situation that you're moving away from, it's starting to move a little bit quicker. I think you're putting whatever has happened in the recent past behind you. I'll show you the cards in just a second. It does represent a relationship, so that's what we're going to focus on. Right now, I feel like you're just sort of staying away from whatever's going on, or at least trying to minimizing the amount of communication, trying to let bygones be bygones, not investing into arguing again and again and again, or feeling like you've either gotten out what you needed to say or holding back from communicating exactly what's on your mind. I think there's probably a lot of hurt and maybe even deception that you're still kind of working through. If so, we'll see. We're gonna clarify the cards after we talk about each one. So in the recent past, it does show me the lovers in the reverse, the 10 of swords, and then the nine of swords. A lot of deception, a lot of problems, probably a lot of disappointments, sleepless nights, um, worrying about where things are gonna go in the future. Maybe not able to see how things are gonna move forward just yet. This feels like definitely a breakup, um, I just feel like there's a little bit of worry there. So hold on tight because as we clarify, we're going to get the energy of, you know, where you are. This is kind of recent past current energy. So I feel like right now you might be in a position where you just can't see what's going to happen now. Now that things have either broken apart with this person or you're making a decision to move forward because it's just become so exhausting that you can't take it anymore. Maybe there's more information that you found out that was even more disappointing. This is really tough to come out of, I understand that. But let's move forward and see what's gonna be happening towards the next three to six months. First, Spirit wants you to know that there's an energy coming forward. This feels like, not necessarily new love, it could be. It feels like there's somebody that's really passionate about you. So it could just be that this person's gonna come into your life or is in your life to help you through this tough time where the five of cups is where there's been emotional disappointment and or feeling like you can't see what's coming to you there is an opportunity for this person to move forward but right now he's only focused on the three cups instead of recognizing that the two cups are behind him something about this person and their energy feels like they want to come in and help if there's any kind of financial difficulty it could be family or friends. It, it feels like a strong energy of support, I wanna say. And Spirit just wants you to know, whether it's Spirit or the universe, that it is coming. And again, it's just something that you can't see. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it tells me that things have not come to the place that you've expected them to just yet. But rest assured that there's always gonna be help and there's always support for you, whether it be family, friends, or this particular individual that I'm picking up on that might be coming into your life that's going to shift your perception. Make you kind of see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel is the feeling that I'm getting. All right, and then in the next three to six months, putting behind you all of these types of people, people who have lied or even stolen from you, cheated, whatever that energy is, it's finally going to be behind you. You're not going to be focused on that kind of thing, nor are you going to invite that kind of energy back into your life. Once you've been through this situation, 
if you're just, let's say, in the first six months to a year of your spiritual journey, and you're learning about these types of energies, and you're finally saying, you know what, I'm standing up for myself, I'm not going to deal with these types of people anymore, that's fantastic. You're starting to move towards that energy in the next three to six months. And then with the Queen of Wands in reverse, maybe there's a feeling of not being able to express this. Maybe you don't feel comfortable telling people that this is what you're going through and or feeling the need to explain to them why you're going through what you are and just getting away from those energies, either shutting off, blocking, whatever it is that you need to do to get to a place where you're feeling passionate again and feeling good about where you are. And then the devil in reverse just tells me, again, you're going to be ridding yourself of all of these toxic energies. People around you that might be manipulative. Maybe they're people who just never supported you or were, I feel like there's a sense of criticism. So if people close to you were, you know, <clears throat> passing judgment on the decisions you've made or telling you that you weren't good enough or that you couldn't do the things that really made you happy, that they weren't going to turn into something. That's what this feels like. People lying to you, in other words, to keep you in a place where maybe they had some kind of control or hold on you. And that's going to be released from your life, which is really beautiful energy. It means that you've learned your lessons and this is something you're just not going to tolerate anymore. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I'm getting water energy, energy, sorry. So a Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. I'm also getting a lot of air energy. So Libra, Aquarius or a Gemini. Okay, so let's clarify these cards and see what's going on moving forward. Let's get the Lovers in Reverse and the Ten of Swords. Okay, this is for Leo. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, and then we have the Lovers card. This is that energy that I feel like might be moving towards you. As I said, it could be a friend or just somebody who's supportive, but I do feel like this is a new energy moving towards you. Someone that you can rely on, someone who's going to be invested in you, believe in you. It feels very, just, I can't get over the word supportive. Whoever this is really has an interest in possibly even, not just taking care of you, and I don't mean that from necessarily a financial place, it's just, when it's a different kind of support, it's a different kind of love. That's what I keep sensing. Whoever it is is extremely passionate about it and they wanna let you know. And it's gonna help you get out of this energy of feeling unstable and or if it's, you know, if this past relationship did a number on your self-worth or self-esteem, like I said, I sense that there were people who might have taken jabs at you about your abilities or about the things that matter to you. And this person coming in feels like they're gonna be someone who picks you up from that place where we all get to that, right? We've all been through where we hit sort of like a rock bottom and then all of a sudden we start building up and up and up. And everything from that point on, once we've hit that, starts to become so fresh and new and so much better than we could have possibly imagined. And it's getting out of all this tough stuff to come to a place where you find your stability and also feel good about who you are, where you are. It's just going to take a little bit of time. All right, so let's clarify the Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. I think this person is going to be really understanding about what you've been through. Whether you have been out of a relationship for a while or this is a current ending to a relationship, this is the type of person that is supportive emotionally. So we have the Hierophant in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse and then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All this tells me is that things are just at a standstill right now. This could eventually, Spirit wants you to know that even though it, if you were in a marriage, this could be also a split of a marriage and that's why it's in reverse. So a high, higher level of commitment that's going to dissipate, but then the new one that comes in will also be a higher level, but also a, um, a more spiritual connection, something that's going to be a lot more fulfilling to you. Right now, again, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it tells me that there's a place where spirit recognizes that you're not really happy with where things are right now. 
it's just a matter of time. They keep pointing to the rainbow, trying to keep your energy really positive, knowing that there's great things to come. I think you feel it. You may not be able to see it again, but you feel it. And again, this person is gonna come in and sort of turn things around. I don't know, whoever this is, is a really, really, really good, supportive, kind, gentle energy that I feel. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Ten of, or I'm sorry, the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune and then the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So this is great. This means in the next three to six months, this is where this big shift starts to happen. You're not gonna be juggling anymore. You're not gonna be wondering where things are going. Um, there's not gonna be a sense of imbalance in your life anymore. I like that. The Two of Pentacles in reverse definitely tells me that there's been some times where you just weren't sure. Maybe you had a really tough decision to make and it was hard to walk away from this relationship that obviously ended. And now, in the next three to six months, again, I see the Knight of Pentacles and then the Wheel of Fortune. This person's energy that I was picking up on, they're a little bit slower moving, but supportive nonetheless. It's someone who's extremely stable. And the reason that they move slow is because they've created this kind of stability for themselves. They know how not only to make money, but to keep it, to make sure that they invest it wisely. They're that type of person. And they might be someone who also teaches you how to invest. Let's say you've come out of a relationship and you have a marriage and you've ended up with some kind of a settlement. This person's gonna help you learn how to invest properly so that that money can work for you long-term. This could also be that there's an idea that pops up that you may have, and this person's gonna help you move forward with that idea, and that's gonna be something that's gonna bring you everything that you could have possibly imagined. I do sense that it's more of an independent type of situation. In other words, you're not gonna need other people. You're just gonna be able to make this happen for yourself. Everything's gonna turn around in the next three to six. Like I said, I don't think you're expecting it, but I think it's gonna be a big surprise and a really, really, welcome and happy surprise. Okay, I'm gonna pick the cards up, so go ahead and think about whoever is on your mind, and we're gonna get the cards for their energy, and then we'll get the cards for your energy as well, and the Romance Angels. I just saw the Strength card, so that's your card. Right now, just feeling a little bit maybe worn out or tired. We all go through that. This is the season for it, by the way. This is for the next couple of weeks, there's going to be some energy of kind of pushing people to take a break. So if you're feeling like things have been going at a rate that you are just exhausted by, it's time to take a little bit of a break. So right now, the person on your mind, we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Cups in Reverse. Okay. This is a tough one. Uh, I hate to say this because I don't want there to be a negative reading for you, but whoever this person is right now is just not happy. They're not happy in their own skin. They can't see things moving forward. They've thought about it so much that it's taken them to a place where they can't, it's almost as if they just can't make a decision. It doesn't mean that if you want this person back that it can't happen. I see that you see things clearly and truly want to make things work. And you might actually speak up. Right now it shows me that you don't want to walk away and the fool, maybe you don't want to take that leap of faith. And when I say that in this particular situation, you may just kind of want to hang back and see if things can be worked out. It could be vice versa as well, although I did specifically pull the energy for them and then for you. Like I said, the Nine of Cups and the Three of Wands in reverse, they're just having trouble seeing things moving forward. Emotionally, I think they're a bit drained. The Ten of Cups just means they're not in a very happy place. It could just be within. It may not have anything to do with you. It, it feels more like an, an instability within, not being able to figure out what they want moving forward. And then the Four of Swords in reverse tells me that they've thought it through to the point of... 
exhaustion. That's the only word I can think of. They're just tired of thinking about it. All right, and then for your energy, I see the Six of Wands and then the King of Wands wanting the two of you to come together, wanting to talk about being passionate. Whoever this is, hopefully we've got this energy correct and you want to move forward with the person because it shows me that you're not confused anymore. You're not stuck. You realize that there's something of value in this relationship. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, I don't feel like you really want to walk away, at least not yet. Maybe there's something still there and you want to work on it. It could be different from the energy that we picked up in the main reading, if this is somebody completely different. So just, if this is how you're feeling, it may take a little bit of time before things can work out. Let's get the romance angels and see. All right, this is for Leo. Whoa, a couple cards flew out. That's too many. This is for Leo. All right. So we have worth waiting for. Love yourself first. Calling in your soulmate. And then children. Your love life is being affected by children. So this could be it. It could be that you want to try to work things out because you have children in the situation. You don't want to break up. Maybe you think that you can get beyond whatever the troubles have been and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations, visualizations help bring you together. So if for some reason you guys are apart and this is something you truly want to work on, the advice from Spirit is it's worth waiting for. Loving yourself first is always best when it comes to love relationships because you can stand your ground, you can express that you're not going to tolerate certain types of behaviors, just loving you and then calling in your soulmate. If you feel like this person is your soulmate, for sure it's worth waiting for. All right, so let's get the Lover's Oracle card. And then we'll close it out with the wisdom of the oracle. What's going on for Leo? And their person, they actually want this top card. So embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. It feels like this is definitely someone that sort of fits you like a glove, is what I want to say. So if this is someone you want back, give it some time. Hopefully things will start to move forward. Actually, I'll tell you what, I want to get, let's get an outcome for you and see what's going to happen with this moving forward. What's the outcome for Leo? We've got the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and then the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Page of Wands. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be for a few people who want this person back in their life or to work things out with someone you're currently with. This person wants to move towards you and say, listen, I do love you. I have a lot to talk to you about. Um, I'm very pa passionate. The page is just someone who's maybe youthful in their energy, wants to start back slow and not move too quickly. But with the Ace of Swords, they want a new beginning. And the crown at the top of the Ace of Swords, if you've watched me before, this to me means the pair, the queen and the king. And this person's going to tell you, oh my gosh, you've got all three pages. Well, not the fourth. There's one more, but we've got those three. And those are so important because this is somebody who wants stability. They want to tell you that they're very passionate about this. They love you and they want a new, fresh start. Okay. And then with the queen of cups in reverse... To me, I think you might be actually holding back. Even though you want the relationship, you don't want to walk away from it. There, you could have your guard up, but that's good because that can be healthy boundaries when she's in reverse. When she's upright, she's fully, completely open. But if you've been hurt, then you want to protect yourself and put up those healthy boundaries. And then the Eight of Cups, to me, this means that this person doesn't want to walk away either. So whoever this is that you're thinking about, it seems as though they really do want to work this relationship out. Okay, now we'll get the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. This is for Leo. We've got Yang, so balancing out the energy. Happy, happy. To the sea. 
and then not for you. So with the six and not for you, I don't think that this is about that person not being for you. It's something outside of you. It feels like a different type of energy that's trying to, I feel like there's people involved that are trying to interfere. And don't listen. If, if people are constantly in your ear, that's not for you. Don't listen to other people's input. Truly trust your own intuition when it comes to making decisions about this relationship. And the balance, the one, it's like a fresh new start, a balance of the energies, the yin and yang, the masculine and the feminine. And then we have happy, happy. I do think this relationship makes you happy. It's an eight, which re or 26, which reduces to an eight, which is infinity. So it could be the relationship that's meant to go on for eternity. And then we have to the sea. I feel like this is needing to take a break. Almost like take a trip. Maybe the two of you need to travel, go to the beach, go do something fun together to remind yourselves of how bonded you are and how deep your love is. Okay, Leo, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you in next week's reading. Lots of love. Bye.